Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here, Weather in 5, 5 Days in 5 Minutes, coming up tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. We are going to be talking about severe weather and flash flooding occurring over parts of the Northeast and Northern Mid-Atlantic states, and of course, Tropical Storm Debbie, which continues to pound the Southeast coast of the U.S. with very heavy rains, and we're going to have to deal with those rains late in the week. So all of that and more tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast. And that is at 7.35 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So as we check out what's going on at the moment, uh, looking at the satellite loop uh, across the United States. Whoops. There we go. Uh, we're seeing uh, the two obvious features here. Uh, the uh, standout, of course, is Tropical Storm Debbie uh, as it uh, sits off the uh coast of Georgia and South Carolina. The center is just moving offshore now, and you can see these bands of very heavy uh, thunderstorms uh, uh, coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean and moving into South Carolina. Uh, we are seeing uh, heavy rains going as far back as southeastern Georgia. For those of you who have asked me, I'm up where it's so nice and sunny up in North Georgia, so I'm not having any issues. The other area that we're looking at, and of course, this is short term for uh, the Northeast and Northern Mid-Atlantic states, Southern areas of the Northeast, is we have a weather front and an upper trough. And then you can see the lightning strikes going on across uh, parts of Ohio and into Northwest Pennsylvania. And all of that is just going to increase as we uh, move through uh, the rest of this afternoon and into this evening. Checking out the radar, some pop-up showers and thunderstorms as of 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time uh, have developed in eastern Pennsylvania and over New Jersey and Long Island and parts of southern New England and the Hudson Valley. The main activity, though, is what you see back to the west uh, with that upper trough and front. And we have numerous uh, thunderstorms and a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings that have gone up uh, in parts of western Pennsylvania. There's even a tornado wa warning box that shows up here on the radar and also some stronger storms behind that. All of that is going to play through. This area is sliding to the east-southeast. And because it has upper air support, and it's coming into an absolutely saturated air mass uh, here in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, down into northern Virginia. I mean, we've got dew points up in the mid-70s, temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s, heat indices that are pushing up the, to the upper 90s in some places. The atmosphere is really ripe here for not only thunderstorms, but for the potential for some flash flooding. We're going to go through that first, then we'll come back to Debbie uh, afterwards. We have a new severe thunderstorm watch that was put up by the Storm Prediction Center at 2 o'clock, and that covers eastern Pennsylvania, much of New Jersey except the southern counties, uh, to about New York City and the Hudson Valley, mainly west of the Hudson River. And there is also an earlier severe thunderstorm watch that was up, put up for central and western Pennsylvania, except for the northernmost part of the state. And that actually goes back uh, into much of eastern, northeastern, and north central Ohio. So again, that's that upper trough that we're seeing uh, moving along. And this is all inside an area of risk. SPC actually added an area of enhanced risk that covers much of Pennsylvania. The slight risk goes to Western Long Island and covers just about all of New Jersey. And also you see it back through Ohio and into a very small portion of Indiana. Should also point out, by the way, that we have a tornado watch up uh, for coastal South Carolina and a very small portion of the Southeastern North Carolina. That of course is with Debbie. And we have marginal slight risk today uh, up in the uh, northern Rockies, uh, in uh, from uh, northeast Wyoming, northwestward, through much of the state of Montana. The um, issue, uh, the other issue, and I think this will probably be the bigger player here, is that WPC has put a moderate risk for flash flooding. All of New Jersey, except for the extreme south, which is in a slight risk, much of eastern and southeastern Pennsylvania, even going back to south central Pennsylvania, into a moderate risk. New York City, the lower Hudson Valley, and the western half of Long Island. Slight risk surrounds that. So uh, on the uh, WPC forecast, the slight risk is roughly between 50 and 40% chance for some uh, localized flash flooding. A moderate risk is a 40% chance. 
And with Debbie, we've got moderate to high risk for flash flooding, southeastern Georgia, uh, half of South Carolina, the southern half, and southeastern North Carolina, all under a high risk for some flash flooding. We're talking about double-digit rainfall amounts here, folks, in this particular area. Uh, and as far as um, eastern Pennsylvania to southern in New England is concerned, this could be a two to maybe three or to as much as four inches of rain possible. And I just want to caution, as always in the summertime, when you're in a tropical air mass, especially like we have today, that rainfall amounts could easily be double uh, what is uh, indicated uh, by the broad forecast. And if we show you WPC's um, rainfall forecast amount, this all in for this, the next seven days, and this all includes the rains of Debbie, uh, we have uh, our area in, an, uh, in a five to seven inch uh, range. So half of that today, half of that with Debbie. Maybe the Debbie side could be a little underdone, but depending on the track. And then, of course, you see with the in North Carolina and back through South Carolina, they have an area of 15 uh, inches plus in the yellowish zone. And uh, I think I have a better view of this, if I can find it. I have it here somewhere. At least I thought I did. Um, but uh, anyhow, you, you, you see how the, uh, the rainfall plays out here. And this is on top of rain that has already uh, fallen. Uh, in, in this area. So uh, let's take a look at how I think this is going to play out. Let me just run this back. I'm going to use the icon model because that has been very similar to the European, and I think that probably has the better idea as to how this is all going to play. So we've got this front and trough. You see how the model generates rain and thunderstorms this evening uh, throughout uh, so southeastern New England, across Long Island, through New Jersey. And then you've got the second area that's coming through uh, in Pennsylvania. And that comes in uh, during uh, the overnight and into tomorrow morning. Some very heavy rains being indicated. Model here seems to want to bring the heaviest rains in southern New England and across back to New York City and southeastern Pennsylvania. And that moves out. Now, as far as Debbie goes, uh, the center moves out over the open waters. It's quite possible that it could strengthen again. And this is not good news if it does, because that's only going to reinforce uh, the rain that has been going on in the southeastern part of the United States. And it'll bring the uh, system inland sometime on Thursday. So here we are, Tuesday afternoon, and we're still talking about another, at least another 48 hours of heavy torrential rains that are, are going to occur there. Now, as far as the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic is concerned with respect to rainfall, a lot's going to depend on how this winds up tracking. Uh, the low center, which will eventually be um, post-tropical, but there may still be an identifiable core of a uh, very heavy rain. And you see it here fr Thursday evening in western North Carolina and southwestern New Virginia. The ICONS track takes it through central Pennsylvania, which is a little far, a little further west than prior runs, in which case uh, much of Pennsylvania could wind up getting clobbered with some very heavy rains if the track is that far west. Usually the heaviest precip is going to fall north and west of the actual low track. And uh, with the, the Hurricane Center's forecast, their official forecast is actually a little bit further to the east, tracking uh, the system. Uh, into uh, southwest New Jersey and then going northeast from there. So it, it's where how we figure how how the low tracks ultimately determines who's going to get uh, clobbered with the heaviest rains with this. And the uh, forecast tracking models here are all pretty well clustered at least initially. And then you see there's a bit more of a spread. You do have a number of members that take the track further east. And you have a handful of members that take the track uh, further inland and, and to the west. But ultimately, I think this is the solution here. And in terms of the timing, it, speed is, is a bit of a question mark. If you believe the icon, most of the heavy rains uh, will come Thursday night and during the day Friday and Friday night. And then we would actually see improving weather conditions for Saturday and for the weekend across the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states. But I think a case can be made that this could wind up being a little bit slower 
If we look at the GFS, which is still just doing this weird thing where it takes it back into southwest, into southeast Georgia, I, I don't think that's correct. Uh, it takes it up northeastward and brings the heavy rains through uh, Friday night into Saturday morning, and then improving weather conditions Saturday afternoon. And the one thing I want to show you here is uh, that uh, the one upside, there's an upside to all of this, is the fact that with with a developing low that would represent what's left of Debbie moving on up to the northeast, it does pull down a nice dry air mass with very low humidities to, behind it, which means that the not so much on Saturday, maybe beginning on Saturday, depending on timing, but uh, certainly for Sunday and for the first part of next week, we could have three days with dew points uh, in the 50s uh, accompanied with, by um, reasonable temperatures as well. So that's uh, that's something to think about here, folks. It's, it's going to get nasty, but uh, the payoff on the backside will be that we finally will get uh, what looks like a three-day break in the humidity once this system moves on by. So just again, a reminder tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m., we will go over all of this, the severe weather uh, going on tonight, the uh, uh, tropical storm Debbie and its impact further north up the eastern seaboard, and along with the weekend outlook and, and a look at the long range. So we'll see you then.